it's Jackie, welcome back to my channel. I'd like to apologise, I didn't do a video last week, or any videos last week. Because um, we were decorating our house and we're having our bathroom refurbed and it was upside down and I had tradesmen in and out and plumbers and builders and all that thing and mess. I just did not feel comfortable and I was tired so I didn't do any. Plus also we had snow so I was pretty damn tired. So I just didn't do any, so I apologise very much. Anywho, um, I am back. So um, the 1st of May, March, I weighed in and I had not lost or gained a thing literally to the point decimal of the pound. I was 322. So um, I'm back on low carb. Been back on it for about two and a half, two weeks? Two weeks. Um, so I'm... Um, so yeah, I want to share with you my plans for next week. So this is my own content life planner. If you watch my channel, you'd see I do planner videos as well as these and other vloggy things. Um, if you want interested in one of these, which is like a, a weekly planner, monthly planner kind of jobby, there's a link below. You can get £10 towards your first purchase if you never ordered before, etc, etc, affiliate link, etc. So, I use this for my planning. I don't know if you can see that. I put my camera on an angle. I, I'm not one of these channels that has like a proper camera. This is my iPhone, so I apologise. It's not really clear. But there you go. But I put it on an angle. So, hopefully, so you can see everything. So, my actual shopping is due in about an hour. So, I planned what I'm having for the week based on what I've already got and based on what I'm getting in. So, let's have a look. Um, I've explained before, I have, I don't really have breakfast, lunch, dinner, I'll go to work um, and I kind of graze on whatever I take to work with me, so what I put here, I'll have every day, so I'm going to scroll it across, and I don't eat at certain times, so it, it don't worry about it making sense too much. Um, I've got these Aaron Condren pens, these are uh, dry erasers, and I remember I used them once and immediately one of them died, and I can't remember which one, so... Might be this one, so let's um, begin. So um, the week of is it like the twelfth tomorrow? Twelfth of March. Uh, yeah, it's not, this pen works very good. Um, so I aim to do twenty-five to thirty grams of net carbs a day. I do low carb, not keto. They are different. Um, slightly so uh, though often I'm sure I'll go into ketosis and I've got keto sticks if I want to test it but um, I'm not a big fat eaty person so I do struggle anyway so let's crack on with the food planning so I'm actually going to start with lunch because I've got it written down <laughs> um, I'm going for a deli platter oh, this week so um, I'm going to put deli platter um, I'm going to scribble across the whole Monday to Friday because um, I have the same thing every day for work because it's easier to pack and prep. So a deli platter is going to have in it some salami, um, olives, some pickled cabbage um, and just maybe some cheese. So I put it on a plate, I've got a deli platter, which I think sounds very nice. And I'm going to guesstimate that's got about three carbs in it with the olives and the cabbage. Everything else is pretty much carb three or negligible. So that's going to be three carbs for there. So I'm going to um, put the breakfast. I don't really do breakfast. so um, But I'm having bacon and egg mayo sort of jobby. I'm going to do egg mayo um, with just some cook some bacon up I'm gonna do that in a little bit um, so bacon and egg so I cook that up and have that um, during like just have it cold I quite like that um, I'm also gonna be having I'm gonna put this down here um, I need a different color pen don't I um, every day I'm gonna have coffee so coffee with cream and sometimes MCT oil as well which is 
I prefer it to coconut oil or butter in my coffee. Uh, MCT oil is comes in a bottle, it doesn't taste, doesn't smell. Um, I have one teaspoon, blend it in as much as I can, and it's a source of fat. So I have coffee cream with sometimes MCT, sometimes not. And yeah, I feel like this should be a different colour. Oh no, don't do this to me. Oh, that's better. Um, let's pick a different colour. So, um, the coffee and cream. And also during, for, for mornings, as I was going to do, it was bacon and egg, wasn't it? Bacon and egg. Also for sort of snacky things, um, I have uh, some hazelnuts this week. I fancied those. And people who do keto will say, this is not keto. That's fair enough, because I'm not doing it. I'm doing low carb. And um, I might have peanut butter and some celery. And celery. And optional of having um, quark and protein powder shake. I'm thinking about it. Or I'm going to have some cucumber with my egg mayo as well for um, dipping cuc. Um, so yeah, I might have, um, oh, and pepper army sticks, meat sticks. I don't know if you have them globally, dried sticky meat stuff, easy to commute, cheap, whatever. And yeah, possibly having a shake as well. Um, see how I go. I bought a tub of quark and I never had it before. And someone said, I'll oh, put, put a spoonful of in, in a low carb shake. It makes it thick. And I thought, oh, yeah, that's true. It would, it would. So I may do that. So that's going to be a question a question mark. So bacon and a cucumber, I'm going to say um, mm, 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 two for the egg and cucumber. Hazelnuts is usually two and a half. Peanut butter and celery is going to be about. Mm, so three, pepper arm stick is zero. So we're how we're looking so far. Our MCT oil, a coffee with the cream is about one. So so far we are rolling on four and a half, seven and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half. So pretty low. So that's what also possible question mark regarding a shake if I get up in time in the morning. Um, and that would have, I've checked the low carb powder that I've got is 1.4. A spoonful of quark is about the same. So it's SA3, possibly. And I might have jelly and cream for dessert in the evening. And that would be about one. Yeah, about one or two. Let's call it two. Um, there's no space for it. Let's put it up here. I'm terrible, aren't I? Jelly. Let's call it, just call it two. So we are rolling on two, four, six and a half, nine and a half, uh, 12 and a half, that's 12.5 potentially for breakfast and snacks for the day. And three, that's 15 and a half. So that still gives me between um, up to 14 carbs. So, um, and the weekends, I just tend to leave blank because I just tend to pick. Oh, I've done that with your finger. Oh, sorry, I've got paint on my hands as well. From I painted the bathroom today, black gloss. Ugh. Um, so I'm not going to put down snacks for the weekend because I literally, I'd grab like a piece of cheese, whatever. When I, do. I tend to eat a lot less at the weekend because I'm not as bored when I'm at work, at work you know what I'm saying? So um, I'll leave that blank. In terms of meals, let's have a look at what I've got planned for my meals. So, because I write this down. Yes. So I've written this down to help me plan my cooking and uh, my budget. So Monday, let's go for orange because I've not used that one yet. I'm going to have pork chops with cream spinach. Mm. And the bonus pork chops, I'm going to put them in the George. They go nice and crispy. Pork with creamed spinach. Um, I've got spinach left over from last week, which I never had. So, And I've got that quark. 
So I thought it's a good way to use the quark um, by using some of that, maybe some parmesan and some garlic. Um, maybe a little onion powder as well to see how it goes. So that is, I'm going to make a batch of that uh, when I finish this video. And um, obviously I've got a big bag, which probably means I get this much spinach. Um, probably do a couple of portions out of that. So um, that is what I'm having there. Excuse me, I need my coffee. Um, I'm also going to have the same thing on Wednesday because I'll have the extra portion of cream and also the pork chops with um, creamed. I live for leftovers. Um, Tuesday I'm having a fish salad. I mentioned before I had like a big bag of like fish kebabs. I had them before and they're actually really nice. I've cooked up about I think five. Took and then took them all off the stick after they were cooked and just put them in the fridge and just had it with um, salad and it was just del delicious. Um, so fish salad. On Thursday I'm gonna have Oh, that's what I'm having Thursday. I bought some a bag of, you know, you get the broccoli and cauliflower in a bag and you just throw it in the microwave to steam it. Got like fresh. I'm gonna have a bag of that. That's got six carbs in it. And I'm gonna do some like some chicken with um like a creamy quarky sauce, so like a, like a cream cheesy sauce, but tomato based, a little bit of tomato. Excuse me. So I'm gonna have creamy chicken. Creamy chick. So you can't read my writing because this is not big enough really. I think he was, yeah. Uh, creamy chicken with brock and cauliflower. It's going to be loads, probably leftovers. Um, and for Friday, I probably have um, kebab because by then I will be fed up of cooking and, and get it ready cooked off the freshly carved with some salad. Kebab and salad. There you go. And Sunday, I'm probably going to have chicken pesto with zoodles. Although I might have that on Thursday. Depends on how, in my delivery. My zucchini courgette is due in my delivery tonight. If it's a bit squidgy, I might have it earlier around the week. And I might just do a roast chicken on Sunday. With veg. No potatoes. Oh, it's going to kill me. Um, so I reckon the pork and the cream spinach, um, I think it's going to be about seven. It's going to be fairly low. Um, fish salad is probably going to be about nine. Chicken broccoli is going to be about nine. Kebab is going to be about ten. And chicken pesto with zoodle is probably going to be mm, about eight. And the chicken and veg is going to be about 10. So, 12 and a half, uh, 15 and a half. So every day is looking like under 30, which is what I'm aiming for. It gives me some wiggle room as well. So if I have a day, I mean, TMI, next week, is one day is my period. So I'm probably going to, I find the day before, I want, I want to eat everything. I will eat your children. The day I, the day after, when it happens, I just lose my appetite. So, you know, that will probably happen. So, I want to give myself some wiggle room. In terms of exercise, I have not done any exercise for a really long time. I always plan to. Um, I put cream wrong. What is wrong with me? Hey! Cream. <laughs> um, exercise. Um, I'm on weird shifts next week. Early, I'm, I'm jumping around shifts. And we haven't got anything major happening. I'm going to try and go for a swim. Tuesday I'm not because I'm meeting my partner. He wants to go for dinner actually, but we'll see how we feel. I can go for a swim at lunchtime though. Ooh. I'm going to try and aim for a swim every day next week. And then, but probably Wednesday, I might go to the gym after work. See, let's hear how I go. Um, so I'm not going to wear myself for another few weeks. I don't want to know. Um, yeah. And I've my focus is really just sticking to this and trying to remain positive and get back on track. So yeah, that is my... If you can see everything, so it's at an angle. Um, that is my messy, low-carb plan for the next week. I hope that helps somebody, anybody. 
and um, I'll see you next week for the next plan and to let you know how it went on. Thanks for watching. Bye.